We all know that a hose pump has one wearing part, the hose. But what do we do when the hose ruptures? Let's take a look. The best option for increasing reliability and pump life is to perform preventative maintenance and change the pump hose prior to failure. In the real world, however, customers may face an unplanned hose failure. In most cases, hose rupture occurs at the top of the pump casing where the pressing shoe releases the hose from compression. Failure manifests as a small hole in the hose outer layer. Pumped media will emerge from this hole and continue to do so until the pump rotor stops turning. The Vertiflex hose failure detection system consists of a pressure switch mounted to the fill port at the back of the pump. This pressure switch is non-wetted and trips on the first sign of increasing pressure in the pump casing, which is indicative that the hose is leaking. This switch closes or opens a contact that indicates to the VFD or other control system that the pump needs maintenance and should be shut down. Because our switch seals to the pump casing, pump media cannot further accumulate in the pump body and does not leak out of the pump casing. Competitor hose failure detection consists of a float switch, which is also mounted atop the fill port. An important distinction is that for the float to activate, pumped media must fill another 20 to 30% of the pump housing. On large pumps, this could mean several gallons of product that may be dangerous, such as chemicals or sewage. Additionally, if there is substantial pressure in the discharge line, product could continue to backflow into the pump cavity and leak outside of the pump through the fill port, creating an unfortunate situation. If your hose ruptures, consult the operations manual for recommended actions and obey all safety precautions. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check out more video content from Burger.